we can only use the fact that r cos of cos of theta equals theta when theta is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to pi. So we need to change these two numbers so they're in that range using the formula cos x equals cos of two pi minus x and cos x equals cos of x minus 2 pi. So looking at 14 pi over 3 first, cos of 14 pi over 3 is equal to cos of 8 pi over 3, which is equal to cos of 2 pi over 3. That's using the second formula, and now that's in the range. For the second one, we have that cos of 11 pi over 3 equals cos of 5 pi over 3 using the second formula. And then by the first formula, that equals cos of 2 pi minus 5 pi over 3, which is cos of pi over 3. So now we have them in the right form, and we can rewrite this as r cos of cos of 2 pi over 3 minus arc cos of cos of pi over 3 and we can now use our formula arc cos cos theta equals theta and that becomes 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 3 which is pi over 3 which is answer B.